Prentice was born in the village of Patchogue, New London County, Connecticut, on December 18, 1802. He was born to Rufus and Sarah Stanton Prentice. He was an intelligent child and had learned to read by the age of three. By the time he was 14, he had also learned Latin and Greek. He attended Brown University in 1823 and graduated at the top of his class. He began his journalistic career in 1827 at the Connecticut Mirror in Hartford. He also worked at the New England Weekly. His connection to Kentucky begins with the biography of Henry Clay. He was tasked with going to Kentucky and writing about Kentucky's famous politician. He never left. He became the editor of the Louisville Journal, which was founded to promote Henry Clay's presidential campaigns. Louisville was a thriving city, with its location on the Ohio River and a boom of immigration. With the growing city, multiple newspapers formed, and Prentice faced heavy competition, but came out on top. Prentice was a wordsmith. His vivid imagination and writing skills helped the Louisville Journal become the most popular newspaper in Western America. The paper thrived for many decades. He was known around the world as one of America's best editors. In 1835, he married Harriet Benham, the daughter of attorney Joseph Benham. They had four children. Harriet went to Nazareth College in Bardstown, Kentucky, and was a great musician. She was the Louisville Christ Church Episcopal Choir Director for 20 years. He also wrote poetry, and his best known poem, The Closing Year, was written on New Year's Eve in 1835 and was published in the new Sixth Electic Reader. While writing for the Louisville Journal and supporting the Whig Party, Pentis rose up the ranks and popularity in the party. He became a party leader and attended many conventions at the state and local level. In 1855, the Whig Party collapsed and the Know Nothing Party was formed. Pentis continued to support the Know Nothing Party and wrote many articles supporting the party and pointing out other problems in the city. Prentice is blamed for causing the Bloody Monday election riots in Louisville, which steamed from anti-immigration and anti-Catholic feelings. You can find more about Bloody Monday in our video or podcast episodes covering the topic. During the Civil War, Prentice supported Constitutional Union Party candidate John Bell. After Lincoln was elected, Prentice supported keeping the Union together. He also supported Kentucky being a neutral state. However, both of Prentice's living sons fought for the Confederate Army. Prentice is also known for writing about Sue Mundy, a famous Kentucky outlaw who committed many heinous crimes during the Civil War. The true identity of Sue Mundy is still uncertain, but you can find out more about Sue Mundy on our podcast episodes and our videos about Sue Mundy. George died on January 22, 1870 and is buried in Cave Hill Cemetery in Louisville. I hope you've enjoyed learning about George Prentice. He was most known for his editorial ability for the Louisville Journal but had a larger effect on Louisville and Kentucky. He was also a politician, a poet, and controversial. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.